Hello guys, today we're going to be making BSF 6976, SPF 40-2, SDP 40F, Maersk Sealand, well, M-A-E-R-S-K Sealand, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, um, so anyway, in my last train tutorial, we built another different paint job for BSF. As the Burlington Northern Santa Fe SD70 Mac number 9647. And this looked very different from a normal SD70 Mac. Or this was a special paint job. And so is this one. So, yeah, but anyway, let's get started. So, we're going to start off with some uh, light blue concrete and uh, stone brick stairs. And then we're going to get the stone brick stairs and build three in the front here with one backwards behind it. And then some light blue concrete above. And then we're going to make the middle part 34 blocks long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 50, 60, 70, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And on the back part, we're going to make this uh, 2x5. If you guys don't notice, I got a new mouse. And then we're going to make the secondary wall. A row behind on both sides. And then we're going to add uh, three light blue concrete underneath here. And then the back, we're going to make this middle part a uh, two by three. Now we're going to get some quartz slab. And then add like quartz slab around here. And add some here as well on these rows. And then the middle part. We're going to get some light gray concrete and add like light gray concrete around the rest of this middle part here. And do the same thing on the other side as well. Make the middle part three blocks wide with light gray concrete. And then for the wheels. I get some nether bricks, like the nether brick block, some brick stairs, some iron bars, some smooth stone slab, and I have like two nether bricks here. Leave a block, add two nether bricks, leave a block, add two nether bricks, fall by iron bars in between these wheels. And do this on the other side. Fold by iron bars in the middle. And then on the sides here, we're going to add some stone stairs. Oh, by the way, more survival series coming soon. God, it's almost been a month. Like, it's been like, what, 21, 26 days. Anyway, on the outsides of these nether bricks, we're going to add back to back stone brick stairs. And do the same thing on the other side.
like this. And then add some smooth stone slab in between, just like this. Then we're gonna add like what? Let's get some stone brick slab and quartz slab and some light gray concrete and some stone brick stairs now let me count this all right so the middle part should um like by middle part I mean like leave a block on these wheels and add like three light gray concrete and underneath these and add like four five and just keep adding rows until there's ten rows and each row should have, and there should be a gap of one in between these wheels. So let's just count this. I counted in my head. And then add like upside down stone brick stairs. On the outsides. And then add like six. So. Leave one from the front part on both sides, and then add like six. So there should be a gap of three from the back. Then we're gonna get some quartz slab. You know what? Actually, get some light blue stained glass pane and add a quartz slab. A stone brick slab, a quartz slab, stone brick slab, a light blue stained glass pane, stone brick slab, light blue stained glass pane, stone brick slab, quartz slab, stone brick slab. And on the other side, it's going to be a little different. So starting from here, add a light blue stained glass pane. Or actually, you know what? On this part, add like a stone brick slab, a quartz slab, stone brick slab, and quartz, and keep doing that until we get to here. Um, this block is actually going to be a glass pane. And on the other side, I believe it's the same. Alright, so it's actually different on the other side. I'd add a quartz slab, stone brick slab, quartz slab, stone brick slab, and keep doing that until we get to here. And now with the light blue stained glass pane, uh, destroy this, add one. And I believe it's also right here, yes it is. So leave three blocks and destroy one. Also, right above this second stone slab on the front right because you see this part is on the front right this part's on the front left this part is this part this part is on the back left or the bar back right I don't even know and here it's only gonna be a quartz slab stone brick slab Quartz slab and keep doing that, and there's actually no details on this one. So here's the front, it has these details. Keep going, the back. And then we're gonna get some light blue concrete and stone brick stairs. And add like five light blue concrete and upside down stone brick stairs like this. And fill the rest with like light blue concrete till we get to the back part.
And on the other side, it's actually going to be the same. Yeah, on the, not the back part. On the other side, it's going to be the same. Add five light blue concrete, upside down stone brick stairs. Fill in the rest with light blue concrete till we get to the back part. Right here. And you know what? Fill these three blocks in as well. And I also found out, well not found out, but I just realized not to place them in this front part. And I realized to mention that so that you don't mess it, mess it up. Let's get some stone brick wall and light blue stained glass pane. And add some glass panes here. Well, by light blue concrete there. And get your stone brick wall, which is found here. And place one here. I'm also going to get some block of quartz. And meanwhile, Add a light blue concrete back there, and add like the V shape of block of quartz and the V shape of light blue concrete, and then get some end stone wall. I found out there's that, and some stone brick stairs. We're gonna get our end stone brick walls and add one here, and then above an upside down stone brick stairs. And then get some black carpet and white stained glass paint. Oh, and while we're at it, let's get some quartz stairs too. And I'm pretty sure this is like, like the concrete. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I guess we'll add a 3x3 three three right here of any block, I guess. And then add a black carpet. Well, actually, we had to turn into that. And then we're going to add a block of quartz here and here and then upside down quartz stairs there or by light blue concrete underneath and I guess we'll fill in the rest there now let's add like two stone brick stairs and then add a white stained glass pane there and there followed by some light blue stained glass pane Wait, actually, guys, um, we'll be right back in just a moment. Alright. So, um, anyway, next after that, we're going to, um, what are we going to do? I don't even know. Okay, I know what we're going to do. Type in slash clear, well you don't have to, but I do because we need to get more materials. So you're going to get some nether brick slab, trip bar hook, birch fence, and what else? We're going to get some white carpet, some string, and some stone brick slab. And build a 2x2 two two of birch fence in the front. And then build another brick slab with triple hooks on the sides. And do the same thing on the back, except it's going to be a little different. Instead of another brick slab, it will be a stone brick slab with triple hooks on the sides. And then there's going to be like get here and right click the first string and then build white carpet across the rest and then um, we're going to we're going to get some black stained glass paint, some light blue concrete some block of quartz some ladders some stone button some birch fence gate some jungle sign, which is a pretty weird material, some white dye, and some light gray carpet. And we're gonna build like 
one block of quartz on the sides with another light blue concrete and then a black stained glass pane. They're going to build like a 2x5 of the light blue concrete with another 3 above here with a light gray carpet above. And then we're going to get some stone button and add one here, here, and here. I'll buy some ladders across this side. Then add an open birch fence gate. Then add a jungle sign and type in six nine seven six. So press enter, type in six nine seven six, and then right click the sign with white dye. Seven, six. All right. Now we're gonna get some different materials. We're gonna get some stone brick stairs, some block of quartz, of quartz stairs, and some nether brick stairs. I'm just checking that. Um. Anyway, we're gonna get some. Some stone brick stairs. I'm just counting everything. So we're going to add six stone brick stairs here, like this. And then add like, I have got everything. So add five quartz stairs. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Add five quartz stairs. One, two, three, four, five, seven stone brick stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three nether brick stairs, and six stone brick stairs. One, two. Four, five, six. And then on the other side, it's going to be a little different. So on the other side, add six stone brick stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Five quart stairs. And then eight stone brick stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then three nether brick stairs. Then add five stone brick stairs. And then um, that's it for the stairs on the top. Now let's get some light blue concrete and some light gray concrete. And we're going to add like what? Alright, 16 rows. So add um, a, a light gray concrete there and make this one 16 blocks long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wait, is that 16? Alright, actually add another row. Well, not another row, another block. I said row because I thought this was five blocks wide. So we're gonna make, not five, three blocks wide. Let's make the mail park three blocks wide with light gray concrete. Then get some light blue concrete and add three here. And now we're gonna keep adding three rows until we get to here. And 
that's what the engine top should look like. So there's like front, there's blue. And then we're gonna get some of the concrete and stairs. Add like five um five light blue concrete here a concrete there. Oh by one in the middle there. And then after that we're gonna add um some top details. So I'm gonna get some stone brick slab, some daylight detector, birch fence gate, and light blue concrete. And um so there's a lot here. So we have three rows of light blue concrete and then add one above and leave a block add a 3x3 three three of daylight detector and right click all of them just to make them kind of look wider, a little closer to black which I kind of said in this video too the being a Ceph chain over here this is also being a Ceph put in a mask ceiling or however the heck you pronounce it, pronounce it that anyway we're gonna leave a block and then we're gonna add a two by three of daylight detectors they used to be called daylight sensors so I might be calling them that and right click all of them then add a stone brick slab in the middle row then leave a block add a stone brick slab then add a daylight detector and right click it without leaving block then add a stone brick slab leave a block add a stone brick slab and then leave a block add a stone brick slab and it should stop just the block before the very back of the quartz arrow you know what just make sure it looks just like this then on the right side we're going to add a birch fence gate right next to that daylight detector slash sensor then we're gonna get some black stained glass block and block of quartz and um add two black stained glass blocks here followed by another And then add two underneath here to make little shapes like that look like that. They're kind of hard to explain. And we're actually going to add another as well. Go by two block of quartz above. And then a light blue concrete right on the sides there. Alright, let's get some iron bars and some stone brick stairs. Or actually, get rid of everything. Let's get some blue concrete, or light blue concrete rather. Some stone brick stairs, some iron bars. Then we're gonna get a loom, a black banner. And then two light blue dye. Alright, then add like an upside down stone brick stairs above. And then two light blue concrete. And then add like two rows right above that. Okay, sideways two by three, or also three by two, however that is. And then we're gonna get a, a loom and add a loom there. And then go in here and add a black banner. And then add your two light blue dye. And then do the border. 
in the halfway up here. And then place it on this block. Now we're going to get some ladders and bedrock. And then with the bedrock, we're going to add like um, three underneath these uh, nether brick stairs. And on this side, um, it's going to be the same. So destroy this um, block and then add uh, three bedrock. Then around this surrounding it, add a light blue concrete. And then up here, add a ladder for more small vent details. And you know, I'm gonna get comfy in my chair, just wait a second. Also, uh, this is the, before we continue, I'm just gonna mention this train. It's the, the P&W. For Providence and Western. There's also Portland and Western, but I'm not building that right now. But we do have the Providence and Worcester. Alright. It wasn't. What the? It says Western. Alright, we'll fix that later. Okay. That was. Well, I don't even know how I messed that up. Anyway, this is what it looks like, and this is what. And this is gonna be built soon. Oh, by the way, we're building SD70M 2. The PW SD70M 2. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that tutorial. And anyway, add like. Four. Uh, like blue concrete with two above those other two blocks. And then let's get some bedrock. And on the right side, leave a block from here and add three. And on the same three rows, we're going to add another three bedrock. And now let's get some light gray concrete. And add a one here, and then another two right here. And then we're gonna get some block of iron, and uh, add five, like all underneath the court stairs. On the other side, we're gonna add um, a light gray concrete on this side, and on the other side, a light blue concrete, and then a light gray concrete. I actually remove the light blue concrete and then add the block of iron and then some light gray concrete and then let's get some block of quartz and um leave a block and remove these upper three blocks and then leave a block and add some light gray, I mean like blue concrete there around these corners. And then the middle part will be a plus shape with a block of quartz, which is for the little star. And then add two light gray concrete here, like that. And then get rid of your block of quartz and get some black concrete. And add like five here. One, two, three, four, five. Then let's add a light. Wait, all right, light gray concrete. Sorry. And then a five black concrete. One, two, three, four, five. And then 
actually the cool thing is on this side, the left side, we can now fill in the rest of this side with light gray concrete. And then let's get some iron bars and um add some here and oh, actually no. Let's add that actually alright, we're gonna add some here and here. And then after that, we're gonna get some and actually never mind. We're gonna go to the other side because that side needs done. And get rid of everything. Get your light gray concrete, iron bars, block of quartz, light blue concrete, black concrete. Well, actually, no block of iron, actually, don't get that. And here's your little moment to get all this stuff. Now we're gonna get our iron bars, and well, actually, uh, we need to get our iron bars and on both sides add that around the stairs here alright so I bet that no. I don't even know just add like four like great concrete right there and now the iron bars, you can add three here, and do that on the other side, three there as well. And now we're going to fill a two by two here, and then add like a little T-shape of block of quartz. With light blue concrete around that. And add two light gray concrete. And on this side, there's going to be like four, four, okay, and I'm gonna set this five, five, okay. This side's gonna be a little different because uh, first we're gonna add four light gray concrete, then two, four light gray concrete, and then two. And then we're going to get some black concrete and add that right here in these blocks. And I believe that is all we've got for this video. Oh wait, it's not. We have more details I forgot to do. So we're going to get some white stained glass block, some item frames, and some birch sign. And then I think we're done. So in the middle here, add an item frame with a light white stained glass block in it. And then get a birch sign and place one. Press enter. Type in 6976 for the number of this engine. This is the BNSF 6976. So you can go on Google and look it up. You can see how close it is to reality now. I'm not going to add, like, rust or dirt or anything. Only adding, like, the fresh details. And I believe that is all we've got for this video now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, and... I'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow, which is either going to be a survival series, which might not have Team Orange 1, or will be a, another train tutorial for this train or another train, or it's going to be a rail fanning video, which I don't even know what's in the yard right now, so... Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next train video tomorrow, which will be, well, it might be a tutorial if it is. It's either going to be the CN train, um, 
CN SW twelve hundred RS SW twelve one thousand two hundred RS which I'm gonna say right now is the CN SW one two zero zero RS. I've said the name way too many times. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And I can't wait to do a tutorial for this train because I spent a long time on it and I think it looks really cool. Or it's gonna be this con rail which will have different wheels soon, but anyway that's all we've got for now. So um I hope you guys enjoyed this train video. We'll see you guys in my next train in the future. And bye!